Alrighty, welcome back. So today's video, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful thing. Uh, I believe they call it a privacy screen. Uh, sometimes you'll see it as a trifold. Sometimes you'll see it as this, like a bifold. I do have a small warning. If you have OCD, this is your living nightmare. I'm trying to get this just pixel perfect right so that it looks nice and beautiful is... <laughs> it's a challenge to say the least. Uh, but the reward is if you get it just right, oh man, you're all giddy inside. You're like, yeah, because it looks great. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. We're going to hop over to the testing area here in just a moment. And we're going to see how to make this. This would also be good for like dividers. I did a video just a bit ago about how to do that right there. Uh, but it would be good for small space dividers instead of putting in a whole entire, you know, like block of something you could put in this really thin job right there. All right, we'll be back just a second. All right, so now over here, we are going to see what you're going to need. So per panel, in my opinion, three high is right because our character is short enough, it hides behind it. So six per panel. Uh, this is where you do a bifold or trifold. It's up to you. Um, trifold, I think, looks a little better with just one vertical, so three per panel. And I personally would do a different type on each. Uh, that's your personal choice. Now, the two that work the best, carved wooden cabinet, if you just really don't have a lot of space, if you're working in a very tight, small space. But crude word cat work, wooden cabinet works the best. So I'm going to show you the difference in why each of these does what it does. So here's the problem with this cabinet. While it's physically smaller than the other one, it allows you to get into more uh, cramped quarters. The back is the problem. You can't use it unless you're right on the shelf edge. So, so the live edge from the shelf is the only thing it'll snap to except for the backs. Or the sides, excuse me. But this bad boy, which is massive... I mean, it's it's a big honking thing, so if, if space is an issue for you, it's going to be tough to use this guy. This will snap anywhere. So it, it's really nice and it snaps pretty tight. It's not perfect. It's a little tighter than this is though, because this has the lip. So this lip that comes out, it's actually snapping to the edge of the lip and not to the edge of the wood, whereas this is snapping basically to the edge of the wood. So this is the one that I like to use. And that is the one we're gonna use. I'm gonna get rid of this so it's not in our way, shadowing us out. So we're going to grab this thing. So the issue with the, that I showed you on this thing is the pictures won't rotate. You cannot do pictures in anything but a 90 degree angle unless you have something you can specifically change that shape. So we're going to go with this. We're going to pop it right there. I'm going to do exactly how I did over there. But because now we're doing two across, I'm going to show you something that's a little different. So we're going to assume that this is the inside. I do like on the bed, I like to have them backwards, but on a uh, privacy screen, I like to have them facing out. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing I did before. We're going to come down to where now you could actually leave it like that. So it looks like it has, I don't know, feet, I guess. Uh, but for this purpose, we're going to go all the way down. I'm going to come up. I'm going to do the same thing to where it clips right at that edge. Uh, corner to corner, I should say. There. Now, the difference is I'm not going to start down here. It actually is a pain because since these overlap, it's really hard to tell where straight is. I'm going to start with the top. So you're not going until you touch the two middle points, then it crosses too much. You're going until it's crossed about the same. And now I'm going to follow the left corner. And get about there. So that runs one piece. Now for the OCD nightmare. This, getting it just right, is a huge pain. Now, I don't want this a 90 degree angle. I want it a little wider. You cannot put it right against the edge because then that'll push the picture frame into the other one. You have to set it off a little bit. I'm going to try... I'm going to try like that. I think that works. Essentially, you're trying to get it lined up with the outer edge of the outside instead of the inner edge of the inside, if that makes sense. So we're going to grab six different ones this time. 
And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come up here to this top. I'm going to come over until about there, and I'm going to take a look at it see what I think. I think I did pretty darn well. It's it's clipped by just a teeny tiny bit, but I, I think that's okay. So I, I'll take that. We're going to go there. We're do, using the left corner. Now, once again, we're going to come up here to the top. We're going to squeeze it until they're just about covered in the center, and I'm going to roughly level the top. Then I'm going to use the left corner to match them. Come back down again, and left corner again. So, I'm going to pick this up one more time. We're going to make a trifold, and I'm going to show you why I think trifold looks a little better if you only have a single upright, but that's okay. We, we're going to do it uh, for the pros posterity of it. So once again, I don't even want this to be the same angle that that one was because I want it to look more organic. So now I've got a little bit more of an angle than, than that one is. I now have to, let's see, maybe, maybe there. It looks about right. And I'll grab my third type. Once again, we're going to the top. I think I'm off. Yeah, that's that's a little off. So now we're going to have to fix that. So we're going to pick this guy up. This needs to come back more. It's it's too far out. This is what I mean by this is an OCD person with OCD's nightmare trying to get this just right. Yeah, that looks like my might be a little bit better. Mo better. All right, so let's try that right there. Yep, I can dig it. I can dig it. All right, follow the left corners. And then the top, center it reasonably well. Follow the left corners. Grab our uh, deal here. And so now you have... And I didn't quite center. You can see how this runs down just a little bit. So now that's going to drive me crazy. But for the video, I'm not going to sit here and nitpick about it and get this just pixel perfect straight across. But that is how you build a uh, privacy screen. This would also work if you're trying to do a Japanese-inspired um, building. Kind of a rice paper effect. But only for if you do it from this end. Uh, you could... Boy, that'd be hard. You can't do them face to face, but you can do them back to back. So let's say you wanted to get the look on both sides. You can do them back to back. So now that it's there and it doesn't look very good. So you can do it, but it does not look that good in appearance. So whichever side you want the quality art, if you will, to be out, that's the side you face. Put your... Uh, corner edge your live edge against the opposite end all right thanks for watching everyone